We the wise weird shit and reviews it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Weasel buys weird shit and reviews it, and today it's all about crafts and arts. All about creativity, letting your inner creative self out. And we're gonna start this off with a craft kit. Paint a bank, which includes a, well, blank piggy bank, a brush, and several colors. Trust, trust, trust a painter, poor Tyrellier. If you ever wanted to paint a pig, here you go. Here you can let your dreams become reality. Uh, pretty much nothing on the back. Apparently, there are several different kinds of things you can paint. They're all piggy banks, kind of. Uh, there's a train and a butterfly and a sheep. But I went for the classic old piggy. And we're going to paint that together. And going to check out how great of a product this is for a dollar. All right, let's open this one up. Ah, I can't wait to use those paints. Can't wait to use those paints. I'm pretty sure they're not toxic. I'm just gonna hope for the best here. Little containers. Ah, I already see this going everywhere. Luckily, we got this piece of paper we can put the piggy on so we don't put, get paint everywhere. Hello, little piggy. Hello, little piggy. Hello, little piggy. What do you think about the piggy? <laughs> He's not crazy about the piggy. All right. You sure you don't want to be friends? All right, let's, let's, let's paint piggy. Ah, so this is gonna be great. Turn these or... Nope, you're supposed to flip them. Can I just break them off, maybe? I would love to break these off, because opening one is going to be tricky. Yeah, let's just twist it off. That'll do the trick. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, I don't even know if that is a proper color in there. Oh, this is... Uh, this is... It's mostly water and some stuff. I don't think this is... You can consider this a color, but sure. What is that? There's some... There's basically no paint, it's just some... Yeah, I think the pigments... What is this? Yeah, the color pigments are on the ground of this. Yeah, this is... Mmm... Paint. That's how paint is supposed to look after 20 years, not right out of the box. Then again, it is paint for a dollar. Well, maybe I can mix it back up together, if we're lucky. Uh, it's more of a gel than anything. I don't know if I would consider this a paint. Uh, this is gross. This is gross, little piggy. What? It's like smearing Listerine on the pig. That's not green. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that's not green. Well, let's just assume for a moment that this is green. This is the wor this worst color. This is not even color. I feel like I'm smearing some sort of gel on there. Ugh. I would probably be able to paint better things with toothpaste. Ugh. All right, green is off the table. What about blue? I don't have high hopes for this, guys. I don't have high hopes for this. Yeah, it's just smeared on. I guess I could see it as a little bit of blue if I really, really strain my eyes with a little bit of imagination, but isn't arts all about the imagination and interpretation? Ah, well, I didn't have high hopes for it in the first place. Ugh, this is not what paint is supposed to do. This is like, ugh, slimy, slimy, gooey stuff. Poor piggy, I'm so sorry, because the mold is actually kind of cool. These are not colors. It's like liquid gummy bears. That's what it is. Mmm. <laughs> Uh, it's like snot. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm not much of an artist, but even I couldn't do anything here. It is art. Mm. Yep. <laughs> uh, I've, I've seen a lot of paint in my life. None of it behaved like this. I'm a little bit sick. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit sick now. Well, now I got disgusting paint all over me. And we got a beautiful, beautiful piggy bank. I can't wait for this to draw. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. What have I done? What have I done? Even if I tried. Look at his poor, sad, red eyes. What do you think about the piggy now, Wheatley? <laughs> Wheatley doesn't trust it. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. 
Let's put that to the side for now. Next up, something many of you probably know and remember uh, under a different name, actually. This is Spiral Art. Uh, I think most of you guys know this as Spiral Graphs. That was all the rage when I was a kid. Uh, all the rage. This is, of course, like anything else made in China. And it comes... I'm not entirely sure how these actually work. I think you just put a pen for them. I actually don't know if this comes with pens. I guess we'll figure it out together. Mm. Spiral art. Tracitraceur spiralis. Oh, oh god, it's falling apart. It comes with a few discs. Uh, I don't know if it comes with any kind of pen. I don't think it actually does. Oh no, it does not. Well, guess I'm gonna have to get some. Kinda even looks like there might be something. Nope, but you can put the discs probably inside the storage containment unit. The color, the pick color actually uh, becomes like a rubbery substance. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is not how paint is supposed to work. Some of this doesn't seem to do the same thing as I remember it to do. Looks like a potato, if anything. Okay, let's try another one. So here's the problem. These things are supposed to like snap in there and then go along these lines. The problem is they slide underneath that. So they don't really hold in place. <laughs> I'm so certain that this is wrong. I'm really trying here, by the way. I mean, I'm, I can make out somewhat. You, you get the idea. Oh, okay. That was my fault. Beautiful art. I'll auction this off, and I will be rich. No more reviews. <laughs> Alright, this was Spiral Art. I do like, I think this is a really cool thing to carry it around. If it would work, I would actually say this is not too shabby, but sadly those things don't really work. It doesn't really want to hold in. So, you can put in all the trash, or your paintings, and... No. The idea is nice, the execution not so much. Oh well. Worth a try. Next one. Velvet art with five markers. Color and build your own car in 3D. Yes, you get to build a car out of paper. At least I assume that is what it is. Uh, doesn't really tell you much. Uh, what is in here? We got one set of pre-cut pieces, five markers, craft glue, and everything in French. What's inside, you might ask? Ha! <laughs> what you expected. Those are super cute and adorable markers and the pre-cut pieces out of very thin paper. I was hoping for a little bit thicker, actually. And, of course, instructions. Oh, this is interesting. This is some sort of felt material. I didn't expect that. It has some texture, actually. Here's just the regular paper, and here you got some felt-like material, which you would expect if you go over a billiard table or something. Felt-like structure. Everything there. What do we got? World best car. <laughs> the world best car. Is that glue? Can I get high from that? Please tell me that's glue and not a tampon. It could be a tampon. Who knows? Let's... Nope, it's glue, I think. It does look dirty and grimy. Alright. 3D velvet art car. Your set includes the following items. One set of pre-cut pieces, five mini markers and craft glue. Step one, using the markers color in each individual piece of the velvet car. Choose your colors carefully to give the best design possible. Well, thank you. I just wanted to have fun now. I'm under pressure. All right, so we get, uh, please let those be better than poor, poor piggy, the poor piggy colors. They were so bad. Oh, poor piggy. It looks absolutely scary, by the way. God damn nightmares, I'm telling you. All right, let's color those guys in. That eh, can't take too long. I call it the Roomster. The Roomster. Uh, it looks like something a kid would come up with that would actually enjoy painting those out. Um, so now we're supposed to put this together with glue. Really? Gluing this? I don't think this is fast enough to glue, but uh, all right. Let's try this. Let's let's put on some glue. Hello, glue? Okay, there's glue. Mm. Uh, this, uh, this, is, this reminds me of something completely different. Uh, okay. I'm just going to assume that this is the front. Please let this be the front. And of course, it's not sticking at all. Screw this stuff. We need real glue. Super glue. What could possibly go wrong using this? 
Well, at least it's holding. Can't say that about the other glue. Yeah, that'll 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 do the trick. Oh no, there's something on my fingers. God damn it. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Ah, there's something on my fingers. Fuck. How do you want me to do this if the gl glue doesn't want to really hold? Even the super glue has its problems. I mean, it's somehow working, but... Oh, this is a disaster. I present to you, the Vroomster. Man, show of your creation. World, world's best car. No, seriously, I tried. I, I, I tried really hard. I mean, okay, I could have tried harder, but honestly, this, it's really hard to get this going if the pieces don't run and hold together. Even with super glue, I had no luck. And the other glue takes forever to bind. So I, I guess I got this. I mean, this is probably the closest you'll get to building, to having a car for one dollar. This is, yep, this is a car for one dollar. Now, I don't know what these are. Just here, there, good enough. Goes together well with the pig, I gotta say. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was the arts and crafts review of cheap Dollar Tree items. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for more reviews and let's play videos of video games. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye! I'm so bad at crafts. I'm so bad at crafts like you wouldn't believe. Maybe you will after seeing this video.